Vai, vai, vai. What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video we'll be working on the Volvo. As you know we only need a turbo for it and then just some cleaning and assembling and all that. So what we're gonna start with is we're gonna open everything up, take everything out that's on the inside, all the engine parts, pack it out, see what we have and then we'll clean everything and install the turbo. Cool! So guys, we have one uh, subscriber that loves this car and I can see why he loves this car. I think it's Johan van der Skyf. Yeah, Thank you for all your support man. I know everyone is supporting us out there, but this guy flipped out about this he, car. Yeah, he <laughs> likes it. And uh, we also actually like it because we've checked out all the features and all the stuff it's got on the remote. and. Like a lot of things and it's actually an awesome car. Mm -hmm. We can't wait to feel our drives and all that. And it's but a very uh, safe car as well. It is a safe car, yeah. so we are thinking of keeping it, but unfortunately we can't. <laughs> we have to sell it again. <laughs> I think it's going to be light on diesel as well, which mm -hmm. is awesome. But uh, yeah, we just also found the problem why we think it won't start because we turned the key and it just clicks. So uh, yesterday actually, I saw that and so that's like a, a fuse type of thing, I don't know if it's actually, a, I think it's a fuse, but I, it goes th directly to the starter, it looks like that, so I'm just going to check it out, I think that's why it doesn't want to start or oh, whatever, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but we are just going to clean it, still clean everything out uh, inside the car, yeah, pack everything out, check if everything is have, there, yeah. and then we'll continue from there, cool. started to like put everything back together and puzzle it back together and uh, the turbo doesn't fit so I googled actually the turbo and, it uh, should look like this yeah this point over there it looks the same uh, the only difference is that on the photo the piece on the turbo yeah actually turns to that side and this one is straight so we can't connect it to the pipe over there the boost pipe so we're gonna have to take it back and then exchange it again um, unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to wait a day or something. I, I don't Most know. Most probably so. yes, because we had to wait a, a day for this one as well. Yeah, so and it was over the weekend, so we had to like wait three days. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so just gonna take that back, get the correct back one, and see if we can get the correct one. Cool. So guys, we took the other turbo back, and uh, they gave us this one. This is a second-hand one, and uh, it's still broken. So, but they <laughs> gave us this one and said we should fit. Test for it, it first, and then we can take if it. If it fits, we can take it back, and then they'll give us the correct one. The correct so, one, yeah. So we're just gonna see if it fits, and then if it does, we can go get an our new turbo. Then we'll get our new turbo again. <laughs> What happens now is I think the solenoid just kicks out and pulls back so I don't know if, if the starter is burned or because um, we soldered that other wire but it still looks like it doesn't want to work so yeah as I said we're just going to clean it, remove the starter, test the starter and then we'll take it from there. Cool. Okay. 
Есть лобстер. So we've actually tested the starter and it looks fine. I don't think there's something wrong with it. So we're just gonna put it back and then inspect some other stuff. I don't think it gets enough power. And uh, that may be the problem why it doesn't, it doesn't want to start yet. Turn the engine. So we'll have to <laughs> we'll have to search more. Let's do it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we are really happy. <laughs> so excited. Start. So all we did was we did solder the um, fuse that was blown here. We put some soldering there, but uh, the previous time it was not so nice, and then I it just came off. I just scraped it off. So our good neighbor helped us again, and we <laughs> did a good soldering, and it started. And a special thanks to our neighbor Andre because he drives us uh, up and, and down here. Yeah, we, had, <laughs> we, had, we bought the turbo and he brought us back and it didn't fit. And he took us back again and we checked the other one and he took us back again. And tomorrow he's going to take us back again to yeah, fix to, the other one. Yes, and he also helped us out on on uh, to get in, getting this thing to start. Yeah, so. and he also. Yeah, he helped us out a lot. <laughs> Thank you very much. We have, we really have a good neighbor. I mean, he's the best. He's the best. I think we are really lucky. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, now we're just gonna clean everything up and catch you in the morning. Cool. <laughs> uh... All right, guys. So it's the next day, and uh, we are still waiting on the turbo. They said they'll call us later in the day and let us know when we can pick it up. Pick it up. So. Yes. What we are going to do in the meantime is we're going to get the car ready so we're going to like drain the oil, clean the parts and all that, maybe put some stuff back in the interior and then when we can fetch the turbo we'll buy the service kit and then we can just install the turbo and the service kit, well, service yeah. it, and then we can take it for a test drive.
Okay guys, so we waited a few days, but uh, we finally got the new turbo. So happy about it. <laughs> this time it's the right one. The only problem we have now is actually there's a clamp coming on like the exhaust side. They call it a V band clamp. And uh, now we have to find that. So we actually called the dealerships and they have one for 100 Rand. Yes, and so but the only thing is we can only get it Monday, which is in four days. Yeah. So and uh, we want it actually today. <laughs> we wanted to start it. And because we also got the service kit and some rear shocks and all that. Because the shocks are done. It's, it's, it's done. Leaking. It's up. <laughs> um, but the other guy that sells the clamp, he asks 600. So yeah. that's too much. We're just going to go there and... Offer him 100 Rand. Tell him we have 100 Rand. The dealerships ask us 100 Rand. And he's asking uh, uh, 650 because we were looking for at other dealerships or scrap yards and stuff like that for a second hand uh, no, clamp. That's, but that's also a second hand one, but it's the only scrap yard that actually has one. Yes, because no one else have a, a clamp. No so this does. guy is asking us 650 for it. So we're gonna go there now, offer him 100 rand. If he doesn't want to accept it, we'll just wait until Monday we'll then, until and Monday. then goodbye from the dealership Volvo South. So. <laughs> we're gonna try yeah. it we'll see what we can do cool all right guys so we went to a few places and i actually got the clamp this one is a bit bent but uh, we can just bend it straight no worries also we got it for like a better 75 price. rand i think yeah. so and we didn't want to wait until like, monday yeah because yeah, we too wanted, long. we've got everything except this so yeah but what we are going to start with is we are going to install the to install do the service like replace the oil filter and the diesel filter and put some new oil and then we'll install the turbo
started. Two. One, what? One, one, one. Well, well, well. Eat one. Okay. First start after what two years? First start after two years, so <laughs> start. Yeah, we just had a problem with that one fuse again, but <laughs> you maneuvered it there and uh, got it to start again. Nice work, dude. Just smoking it, man. Yeah, <laughs> all the old all diesel. diesel. Yes. But uh, well, everything looks fine now, so we're just going to leave it to idle for a while and then we'll take, take it for a test start. Awesome. on the speedo that 60 kilometers to 80 tank. So where are we going? I think we're just gonna take it for a spin around the block uh, and check everything on the good game and then we'll get some gas. Cool. <laughs> Okay guys, so we took it for a test drive and we actually also took it like on a long road and uh, it drives super nice and there's no problems with it so far. I mean we already already drove about 100 k's with it and it's case. smooth and light on feel dude. We knew it's gonna be light but it's really 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 light. It's super light. <laughs> I think it's like the most fuel economic car we actually had. But uh, yeah. anyways, we actually also drove past my crew and we saw that they already have Black Friday and uh, we always uh, borrowing the neighbor's uh, wrap. <laughs> so we decided the to buy The washer or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. <laughs> and this car is really dirty so now it can be washed. Now we can give it a wash so we bought a neat, uh, what's it, Bennett and Reed pressure washer and it was a pretty good price. With the foam cannon. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're just gonna take it out and unbox it. We took the 
this wrap because it has like a bottle for some soap yeah. which we can use as a foam cannon because not all of them actually have and also I like the that's my most favorite part of the machine is that you can reel it up the the hose and then there's no hose that's in your way or it's always in the way so <laughs> this one is cool we yes. like it about it and then it's got the nice gun to shoot out the foam and water and stuff like that so we really like this one there was many options to choose from but this was the best option yeah, and it also had a good price yes so we, it was basically we half price one. dude Plus half price. Yes. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I think it was a bit less than half price. Yes. But uh, it was still a good deal. Mm -hmm. So, but now we're not gonna wash the car right now because it's rainy anyway, and uh, we're just gonna waste our time. So, I think we're gonna wrap up the video right we're here. We're gonna wrap up the video. So that's gonna be a wrap for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't yet. And uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.